Hey guys, welcome back to Beard Canis Garage. We are at a Grosso Custom Workshop with the man himself. And uh, he's just about to do a welded diff. So, you know, we thought it could be very interesting to bring you on the journey of how do you weld your diff for mega cool drift. Rob is obviously always focused on the work. I'm just finding a bit of metal. <laughs> That is the diff. So yeah, we're gonna weld this gear to that one, and that one, and that one. And if we put a, All right. so you gonna put a rectangle plate in there. So you attach them all together, so yeah. that so they the disc, essentially always move together. This doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah, you can't do that. It looks nice and clean in there, the old black like that, isn't it? It's quite oily though, so it will smoke a lot. Perfect size. I'll cut that in half. Cleaning the edge for better weld. Yep. Do you need to like clean up the stuff on there? No. So here you just weld through the oil basically and the oil just burn and your weld still happen? Yeah, um, I will spray some weld splatter on it. Got some anti splatter spray. And what does the anti splatter spray do? That um, reduces the amount of splatters and um, stops the splatter sticking to other bits of it. Yeah, because I guess you don't want any going on the big gear that is still around, isn't That's it? That's it, you don't want to leave any gear. Yeah. This reduces the amount of stick, any of it sticks, anti splatter spray. So we'll um, get that all everywhere. Turn it a bit, make sure it turn it, make it all make sure it's all around it. Turn it so it's flat. This should sit in there. Like that. I'll put my cap in a. Yeah. Welding mode. <laughs> There's a, another welding mask if you wanted to wear that. Uh, that's alright, you know. I got used to it generally. I just don't look at it, or I just look at the screen, or I look away. Yeah. Or I go blind, you know, whichever. Yeah. <laughs> whichever comes first. Yeah. Go to bed and wonder why your eyes are burning. <laughs> this is a professional way. <laughs> Obviously. But nice. Nice fresh. <laughs> there you go. You it's it's the... round again now, yeah. and we'll get some anti splatter on that so it doesn't gob up the end. Some on that. Technical tools. the magnet out before it gets too hot. It doesn't magnet anymore. Yeah, now it's stepped. Yeah. We've got tacks all around yeah. it now. It's so. nice, it's like you're like welding into a little cauldron or something. Yeah, it's gonna sound funny. So you can see, I've welded the plate to the gears all the way along there yeah. and along there, but I've also welded the gears together in the corner, just there. Yeah, so basically you, the plate is welded to all four gears. Isn't yeah, it? I'm just gonna get fill this corner up in here. Your tip is all red. <laughs> get cream for that. <laughs> so, that's all that. And then I'll turn it round. 
and you as it's hot got to do both sides don't yeah because there's two sides to it but because it's hot at the moment it goes stiff there we go so there's the other yeah, side that we haven't done that, yet yeah there's another plate but if you have a look in there that is not gonna come apart yeah, and that is the second side, isn't it? So it's both yeah, sides. Yeah, both sides. All the corners of the gears are welded together under that as well. Should be all good. Nice. Right, this is hot. They do go tight while they're hot. Yeah. Once it cools down, it will loosen. Those are always rather straightforward job, really welding the diff, isn't it? Fairly. The biggest job is taking the diff out of the car. If it's off and the oil's drained, but after that, I mean, there are still some loose balls and stuff in there, so it will need. You will need a good clean here. A good clean, probably rinsing out, run it a little, like, just turn it a little bit, make sure everything's free and clear once it's cooled down, and then. Um, change the oil again yeah yeah make sure if there is no debris left because obviously you don't want stuff going in gears and stuff and yeah no you don't want any of those bits of metal left in there all that loose stuff so well that's yeah that's how you weld the diff yeah and if you ever need your uh, diff welded give us a shout exactly Goes on custom, link in all the description, guys. Yeah, now just put it back on and uh, then burst, it, take yeah. it out of the door. Oh, that was in there, wasn't it? And there you go, guys. That's pretty much it for this one. Uh, for a more uh, fabrication uh, beauties and tricks and stuff like that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Check out Gozo Custom. Instagram page for some of his work, get in touch. Check out Beard Canics on the YouTube, like you're watching now, so you get more content. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. See Bye. Ya.